Hi, I'm back with another update. Um, a very common question I keep getting asked is, how do I go about getting tested for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? And here's my advice. So as a disclaimer, um, getting tested for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is basically a rule out game. And what that means is since the most common type of EDS, uh, hypermobile EDS does not have a genetic test, what we're doing is ruling out other connective tissue disorders and we're ruling out the more serious types of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, including vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And it is super important that everyone knows their status so that we can raise awareness on these conditions. First piece of advice is book an appointment with a geneticist. I believe this is a super valuable experience. It may be expensive depending on your insurance, but I do think it is worth it. It takes a really long time to get into geneticists. They have a super long wait list usually. I, it took me two years to get to see mine, so book that appointment as soon as possible. And while you're waiting for your geneticist appointment, you can take things into your own hands. Um, my geneticist says that in vitae panels are used for medical diagnostic purposes, so you can go ahead and get those ordered. Unfortunately, you can't order those on your own, so you do need an appointment with a genetic counselor. I had my genetic counseling appointment through Genome Medical. You can visit their website. They do virtual appointments. They will order the in vitae panels for you. It costs $250 out of pocket, but most of the time insurance will cover the total cost. The other thing I've run into is a lot of people are doing whole genome sequencing. I would not recommend doing this on your own. I learned the hard way. I had something come up with um, my whole genome sequencing tests and then I retested through in vitae and found out it was a false positive. So if you're going to do whole genome sequencing on your own research, make sure it's for medical purposes. Um, a lot of the companies that have whole genome sequencing available online are for entertainment purposes only and um, is not passable through a lot of geneticists. So do your research. My advice is to wait till you get your, into your geneticist to go through with whole genome sequencing. If you do testing through in vitae, sometimes what happens is variants of unknown significances will show up. Basically, these are mutations that they're not quite sure if they cause disease or if they're a neutral mutation. Um, my geneticist was able to give me more information about one of the ones that showed up for me, and they said they would contact me if anything else showed up in terms of research with this specific um, mutation. So that's a really cool thing that a geneticist can do. So... Highly recommend geneticists, highly recommend in vitae panels, and highly recommend genetic counseling. Know your status and raise awareness. Thanks for watching.